Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verified business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Okay, hi everybody. Um, today just we are going to look at how you are going to write the test cases. Um, Okay, so this video presentations are mainly for the benefit of H2K students. Right, so what's the testing process? Like uh, we discussed uh, this testing process in my first day presentation. So now let's look at, uh, let's quickly recap what are the different um, steps, what are the different steps involved in this testing process. Because this is an important question, like the uh, mentor is going to ask what is the testing process or how we are going to test the projects, what are the different steps involved in testing the projects. Okay, so understanding the requirements and then uh, once you get the requirements clear, then the next step is you are going to write the test cases, prepare your test data, then you are going to run your test cases on the application and then report issues, right? So these are the different um, steps. So let's uh, try to look at how we are going to do these different activities in real-time projects, okay? So I'm going to show you a document. Okay, so this is the requirements document uh, for a project. So this is the this is for the project online will view repository, and then these are the different uh, functional requirements, right? On home page, user is allowed to log into the account with a valid ten-digit number and password. If the user provides more than or less than ten-digit number, the following message should display. Okay, so this is one requirement. This way you will get different requirements for the project. So how we are going to write a test case for this? Okay, whenever just you read the requirements, you should also think logically of okay, what are the different things involved in these requirements. Right, say, in this particular requirement, F1001, mainly there are three different things. One thing is, first you need to open application so that the home page should display. And then the user is trying to log in with a valid phone number. And the third thing is, the user is trying to log in with invalid phone number. So this way you should logically break the requirements. And then the next step is, you're going to write the test cases. So when we write the test cases, we basically use this Excel template. So this is the best, this is the template like most of the templates they use. This is the typical template. And then how we are going to write the test cases. Okay. The first one is the test case name. Right? So whenever you name the test case, you should think what is that functionality you're going to test. Okay, I'm going to write the test case, say open app, underscore 
what is the requirement you are going to test, say FR001. So this way I'm going to give the test case name. Okay. Whenever you give the test case name, the functionality what you're going to test and then what is the requirement. Okay. And then the description. So what is the description? What you are trying to achieve in this test case? That is the description. So I am going to give you the description. Um, something like the open application. This precondition we are going to talk later. Okay. And the step name. Okay. I can give say one. And then steps to be taken. Okay, what are the different steps that is involved? The first step is open application. In order to open application, what is the data you need that comes under the test data? Okay. So in order to open application, what is the data you need? I need the application URL. Right? So that comes as your test data, www.tmobile.com, right? And then there is an expect result column. This expect result always comes from the requirements. So mainly you are going to look at the requirements and what the requirement says. Okay, the moment I open application, I should see the home page. That is the requirement. So, I'm going to write the same thing in the expect results, saying that, okay, system should display home page. So, whenever you write the test cases, steps to be taken is something what you are doing on application. And the expect result is what is the system response as for the requirements. So this way you are going to write the test case. This is a simple test case for open application. And then you are going to write one more test case for the same requirements. Right? Say this is the second part. Valid login. So I am going to write one more say valid login underscore of for 001. Then what is the description? So verify login functionality with a valid phone number and password. That is the description. What you are trying to achieve? Verify login functionality with a valid phone number and password. Now let's talk about this precondition. So what is a precondition? Precondition is something what you are trying to achieve in this test case. Okay, precondition is what you are trying to achieve in this test case. Or what is prerequisite? What is the precondition? What is the prerequisite required? So what is that prerequisite? If somebody wants to log into the application, the prerequisite is open application. So that should be your prerequisite. Right? And then you are going to write the steps. Again, say enter mobile number, comma password, and click login. So what is that data? you want to enter, say mobile number, 10 digit, right, comma, password, this is the test data. Okay, once I do this step, then what the requirement says? User should be able to log in. That means it is successful login, right? So, we're going to write the same thing, system 
displays successful login. That is the valid login test case. Similarly, you are going to write one more test case for the third part, right? So invalid login for this part. So you are going to put again, um, so I can copy this thing and then paste it here. And then I can put the test case name as invalid login. Then verify login functionality with invalid mobile number and password. Again, the precondition is same. And the steps, what the requirement says, if it is less than or more than 10 digits number, right? This is what the requirement says. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Okay, first let me do with, say, less than 10 digits. And then, once I do this thing, then what the requirement says, the system has to display this message. You can copy paste this message. System displays not successful login, right? It's uh, system displays message. And also, there is something else. You enter less than 10 digits. Then there is something like more than 10 digits also. So you are going to write one more step in the same test case. Right? So this is one more step. And now you are going to write, say, more than 10 digits. Again, the system has to give this message. So this way you are going to write the test cases with different steps. Okay, and then once you're done with your steps, there are two different columns here. But you see, the actual results pass or fail and so on. What is this actual result? The actual result is something what you see on the application. Because so far you don't know like how is the application, right? Because all you are writing based on the requirements. So now you are going to see the actual result on the application. So for example, you are going to run the test case, right? So okay, you, are, you have to open this application, okay? Just open your browser and then you are going to open the application. Then here you are going to write, say, www tmobile.com. So once you do this step, so what you are expecting, system should display the home page. So you are going to check whether is the home page displayed or not. If the home page is displayed, then you are going to fill the actual result. Yes, verified as expected. And then we are going to pass this step. And this is for the requirements F4001. Okay, so this way you are going to write uh, the test cases. And then what you see actual on the application. You both the results are same. Expected actual results are same, you are going to pass it. If expected actual result is different, okay, when you open the application, you didn't see the home page. That means actual result is different from expected result. So you are going to report that issue to the development team. So this way, we are going to write the test cases, we are going to run the test case on the application and see what actually happens. Okay. So that's that's about uh, this uh, process. Okay, understand your requirements. You're going to write the test case, prepare your data, run the test case, and if anything that is not working as per the requirements, you're going to report that issue to the development team.
So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you are interested in a demo program, please register on our home page on the left hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-1269. 17615. You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.